Rochester's rock star Lou Graham performing this Saturday night a special benefit for the family of Rochester police officer Daryl Pearson. And he talked to our executive producer Mike DiGiorgio about that and Mike is here with more on the concert. Mike, Lou Graham, I mean he's a local guy, mm -hmm. we love him. What is? What was it like to sit down with him and talk to him about what he can do for uh, Daryl Pearson's family? Mm -hmm. We had a great conversation about it. He's The, the benefit kind of came together without him mm -hmm. and then they they were able to there's some local bands on there that we'll talk about in a little bit and they were able to get Lou on board for it and instantly moved him right up to, to headlining status yeah. um, th let me set the scene for you here too he is he was just about to go to Germany we actually did this interview a couple weeks ago um, but knew he's either back now or just getting back and has got to rest up so he wasn't gonna be able to talk to the press about the concert um, right. until then so so called us in we went to the studio I had him there, I chatted about a few other things that we'll show you in the, in the piece here. Uh, some recent disappointments uh, in his life and career. Mm -hmm. uh, something I always wondered about is how he's perceived outside of Rochester. Right. Mm. I've seen him several times, never in another city. And I'm always right. curious, uh, Lou Graham, foreigner, how does that register with them? So that's part of this piece. Uh, most importantly though, we talked about uh, the benefits okay. Saturday night at the Armory okay. uh, for the Darrell Pearson family, uh, starting out with the tone that he sets for uh, this kind of event. Let's okay. take a look. I don't remember taking any, any different uh, uh, um, stance that, uh, in terms of the way we perform or, or you know the the chatter between songs or anything you know will definitely take time to you know uh, raise up the officer and you know his part in protecting the city and uh, the the good man and the good husband and the good father that he was and then we'll step right back into something that rocks we we play the hits and people are screaming and cheering and and because we play a song that they had never heard before when that song ends there's dead silence and it's a little unnerving you know so we we've just taken those songs and put them aside for for events where, where they they seem more at ease in the set I actually had um, I had about eight or ten um, security people and policemen, off-duty policemen, at my wedding because we were getting email threats from fans that didn't want to see me get married. We felt much more at ease knowing that, that uh, they were there undetected but but doing their job it allowed us to have the wedding that we wanted they accused me of trying to jump on their bandwagon and i got virtually no airplay on christian stations but the christian artists can have hits in the on a christian stations and then jump into our billboard top 200 and come flying up that and be played on on rock stations and middle of the road stations and stuff like that they're, they're, but, but try and go the other way and and uh, and you, you get yourself a nice label then I believe Mick and Ma and whoever was managing us went to Cleveland and talked to one of the main people there and, and it was a pretty hostile conversation and uh, he assured Mick and our manager that as long as he was there, was there he'd make sure we never got in. Maybe the people will speak, but... I'll bet they have already. We're received good. You know, we, we, uh, 
we 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 earn any response we get we we rarely have people falling all over us before we take the stage but uh you know after the first or second song you know people are up in the front and shouting from from the back and uh you know we we have uh, a, a a good communication with the audience and and uh you know i i yeah I've done this for so long, I, I can feel when we're winning them over, you know? That's a great feeling. And, and by the end, they're, they're just crazy. And the premise of this is to raise money for the, for the family and, and uh, take a little, a little pressure off for now and, and at the same time honor the fallen officer with... Uh, loud, raucous rock music, and a real cool party. So I will mention, guys, the concert is Saturday night. It's at the Main Street Armory. It's Lou Graham. It's a guy named Steve Augieri, who's a former singer from Journey, who's going to be on the bill. And uh, three local bands, King Buffalo, Rain Line, and Download. Uh, download are actually going to perform mm -hmm. in this room mm -hmm. tomorrow. Oh, for great. Us. So okay. we'll Thanks. talk a little bit more about that. Uh, tickets at ticketfly.com, the House of Guitars, Aaron's Alley, and there's a phone number we'll put up on uh, 13wind.com and foxrochester.com right. for you. Excellent interview. Nice job, Mike. Yeah. He, he was, he Lou was, was very gracious with his time. That's awesome. And we thank him for that uh, and uh, his generosity. Yep. Thanks, Mike. We'll be right back. <laughs>